All right, folks, you guys are all ready? Yep. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Kuile Courageous Conversations here from Kapi'olani Community College. I am Sheldon, one of the counselors at KCC. And I'm Alfie. I'm the other counselor with the Kuile team. And Sheldon, it's like, seriously, we, we blinked our eyes and we're in December. I was at a meeting this morning and I was talking to the two folks and I was telling them, I was like, oh my goodness, Christmas is like in two weeks. Are you ready? Alfie, are you ready? No. Uh, <laughs> no, because I'm still trying to figure out where the rest of the months went for this year or for this whole year, man. It yes. was just, it was crazy. It was crazy. And I remember we were talking about this, like, guys, it's December. Like, what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? And we're planning stuff for 2023. Yeah, we are. That is killing me. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, uh, we have another remarkable podcast today. Um, I'm always very excited when we hear the voice of our students. Yep. And even voice of our student leaders, no less. Because mm-hmm. um, they make a whole lot more sense than us adults. Except... Um, and not to out him, but you know, before we hit record, we had a pork in the trunk issue. Mm. And so, you know, when we talk about our student leaders, we think about like responsible, uh, we think about they're on top of things, and we also think about refrigeration. Right? I don't know. Does that come to mind? When you obviously when you think about adults, what comes to mind? Because to me it's like refrigeration, I don't know, all that other stuff. Knowing what you bought and where you put it. (laughs) Pork in the trunk. In fact, um, you know, I used to be in uh, rock and roll bands. And one of the fun things was to think of a band name. I think I just found one. Pork Pork Pork. in the trunk. Pork in the trunk. Yeah, that is the new band. Or maybe our new podcast name. Anyway. Pork in the trunk. Gotcha. Pork in the trunk. This coming from the guy who actually opened for Aerosmith. Not sure if you all know that. but Not Aerosmith. Was it Aerosmith? No. Uh, chili peppers. Yeah. Oh, it was the chili peppers. Oh, okay. It's even cooler. Okay. <laughs> it was a Thank long, you. it was a yeah. long time ago. Thank you, Pork in the Trunk, for that. Uh, pork in the Trunk. Go, yeah, Pork in the Trunk. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, bring I'm we we are bringing back the Kapiolani Community College Student Congress. I'm going to have them introduce themselves once again, but Woo-hoo! here they are again. Take it away, student Congress. If you could introduce yourselves, maybe again the positions you have with the Congress, with with the Congress, with the Congress. Yeah, sure, that works. It's it like works. when people say, "I got the COVID." Anyway, or I got the pork in the trunk. But anyway, I got, go I got ahead. The... <laughs> Who wants to go first? Uh, hi everybody. Um, hi, I'm Shauna. Um, first year at Kapiolani Community College, and I'm the president for Student Congress for 2022 to 2023. All right, Shauna, uh, president. Hello, my name is Jenny. I am <laughs> the president for Student Congress. Nice to meet you guys. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm the treasurer at Student Congress, third year. Um, Yeah. Who is Hi, guys. That? I'm Julius. Uh, I am Student Congress secretary. It's nice seeing you guys all again. Oh, hi. <laughs> my name is Micah Tutuvanu. Um, I'm the public relations for student congress. So awesome seeing you all. So full disclosure, today is December 13th, Tuesday. It is finals week. And so if you're noticing, I mean, Shauna, the internet was in and out, but really I think her brain is going in and out because she's focusing on her finals. So it may sound like a technical thing, but I think her priority is her finals. Uh, but speaking of which, um, how are you guys doing? It's finals week. It's the tail end of fall 2022. How are how are you all doing? I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day. <laughs> I'm taking my wins where I get them. I kind of put off studying and I'm like, oh, this is future me's problem. Now it's finals week. And I'm like, well, this is a now problem. Um, <laughs> So I'm praying. I'm studying. I'm hanging in there. How's everyone else? I think Jenny's doing pretty good. You know, we're we were playing Minecraft last night. And tried to get Jenny to join, but she was like, "Nope, I need to study, guys. Sorry." So, I give you don't give yourself enough credit, but <laughs> I think I'm doing great. 
um, forgetting pork in trunks, but you know, remembering <laughs> pork in trunks. The key thing: no more than two hours at an unsafe temperature. It's only been like an hour and a half. You know? <laughs> but yeah, finals are going good. Classes are good. Good. How about you, Chef? Now that we know that two hours, if you could confirm the pork in the trunk theory. I don't know. I don't know how long that 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 pork's been in the trunk, but if he just went to Costco and he left it in there and he's in the shade, I think he'll be all right. <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave it there any longer, though. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this this semester has been great. Um, finals. I am. I think I'm almost done pretty much with everything. So I'm just, you know, it was, it was a great semester, and I can't wait for the next semester. All right. So everything's been doing awesome. Shauna, how are you doing with your finals? Because wait, this is your first semester. Um, oh, this is my second semester. Second. Um, actually, um, I came uh, like ten minutes late to this because I just got off an exam. Mm. So. <laughs> so before she froze, she was just coming back from her exam. So, man, hats off to Shauna. Oh yeah, oh, my totally. gosh. And what a better way to finish up your finals than by spending it with us, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Micah, well, how are you doing, man? Oh, um, so I actually finished my finals last week because, I don't know, my professor professors just wanted us to suffer last week. So this week, I'm doing good. I just got, like, I kid you not, I slept, like, over 10 hours. And I'm going to, after the podcast, watch, I don't know, like, the Kardashian show or like Gossip Girls or something with like a lot of girl drama because it's it's pretty funny. Those shows are funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm relaxing. I love the Kardashians. I think of absolutely nothing when I watch it. It's like junk food for the brain. And I was gonna say maybe yeah. that's maybe that's the ticket. Micah's just gonna shut his brain off. Yeah. <laughs> and watch brainless people. They yeah. literally complain about like salads and stuff. Like I yeah. wish I had that problem. I think I lose my brain cells when I watch that show. <laughs> yeah. uh, IQ goes down a little bit. <laughs> very, very true. All right. So Student Congress, we've, we've made it through fall wow. 2022. Um, looks like everyone is still smiling. Everyone is still breathing. Any reflections on 2022 on what went well in the in the lens of Student Congress? Well, uh, I'm going to try up to probably um Denny, but um we got our hot spots out this semester. Mm, which hot spots. Um, was great. Yeah. Um they were all like rented out and students seem to be enjoying it. So we're going to be doing it next semester as well. And we also had our friends giving event uh, last November, which um Tim sort of had it, where um we basically had like a get together with like free food where uh to my knowledge over a hundred people like came to the event so I think it was a big success and a lot of people have been telling us about um how great it was anybody want to add on to either of those that is amazing oh I'll definitely say yeah like um in the spirit of Friendsgiving and with that thought yeah I feel like what really went well is our team came together pretty well you know we got uh prior to this it was just Jenny and I and you know it you know, we did as much as we could and, you know, we did some really cool things. Um, but having a full team, you know, felt really nice to, you know, be on campus. I was on campus a lot more, especially because we had a full team and connected a lot more with the students. Um, you know, definitely thanks to Micah Initiative, his uh, Snag and Chat, we got to connect more with the students. Uh, and Julius is, of course, as you know, he's kind of a social butterfly, but <laughs> so. He said kind of. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's the introvert of the group right yeah that's what i heard that's what i heard man <laughs> it's, it's it's rare to see him talk or hear him talk you know uh, yeah he's he's he, he's so quiet anyway <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah the, i'd say definitely the connections uh with the students and amongst ourselves uh is probably the thing that i enjoyed and i'm thankful for the most in this year gosh anyone else this is sounds like a great year just to add on what Tim was saying, I really want to give a shout out to our other chartered student organizations. So Board of mm -hmm. Student Publication, Board of Student Activities, really just bringing community back in community college. Because if you notice during COVID, it was kind of dead and no one on campus. So 
they thought of these activities and we've been collaborating with them more, but they're just really smart and really engaged with the student population. And it's really hopeful to see more students on campus and be more engaged with the community. Mm -hmm. Yep, I concur with Jenny on that one. I think they have an awesome uh, Winterfest. Oh, Winterfest. That was Bosa, right? With the Winterfest? Uh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. Mm -hmm. And we will be collaborating with them uh, for the cultural festival. Actually, I think uh, us, all three of us, all the three CSOs, will be collaborating together for in March for a cultural event that's going to integrate, I guess, all the different, you know, being a melting pot in Hawaii, it's going to integrate all the different cultures, um, or especially international students to see. Mm -hmm. Really cool. So since Tim kind of alluded to, I guess, a preview of, March 2023, what are the plans for Student Congress for 2023? What do you all have in mind? I believe our spring annual survey comes out during that time. So that's where we gauge our student needs. It gives us like a snapshot of their baseline. Um, common questions we ask is like, what is the most stressful thing you're in life? Almost it's always money. Um, like what what is your food insecurity? So I think that is the kind of a big thing that we're planning for the spring. Mm. Does anybody else want to add on? Uh, so uh, for the spring, we're going to be doing a lot of things. We just uh, did our spring planning a while ago. And well, right now we're still um, finalizing things. But so far, like on our plans, we have, um, we're going to keep working on lowering some tuition and uh, getting the other CCs to also um, uh, cooperate with us in trying to lower the summer tuition at the CCs. We're also trying to um, do like these um, adulting workshops that Tim is planning to sort of um, uh, work on that's going to talk about like removing the stigma of talking to your instructor and we're also trying to work on like maintenance on campus. So like um, we're trying to make a mural on campus. So like campus beautification. And also we're trying to work on, what, what was it? Therapy dogs. That one was um, what Mike is working on right now. Hmm. And um, he's trying to bring therapy dogs for like midterms and finals when uh, students need it most. And we also have a few other things that we're going to be working on if anybody wants to jump in. That sounds like a full semester. So we're looking at like a balance of things of like just therapy dogs, campus beautification, the lowering tuition for the summer. That's huge. Um, cultural events um, and the adulting workshops. Um, when should students anticipate the rollout of these calendar of events? So um, right now we aren't 100% sure of everything, but we sort of have a like timeline that we're going to probably be working off. So for um, well, January and February, we're going to be doing our snack and chats again, um, similarly to how we did um, the last month. So, so we're going to be doing that on uh, two Wednesdays. So January 11 and January 25, are going to be the next date that we um do snack and chat. We're going to try and um probably um for the first two months um it might be a bit slow, but we're probably trying to um get the adulting workshop done within uh, January and February, as well as working on well we're trying to do this massage initiatives where we bring people to like give students massages. Hmm. which will also probably be in January, February. And in March, we're trying to have a similar event to um, Thanksgiving, like we did this time. So a big like community get together, free food, um, just like community. And also therapy dogs at around that time for midterm. And yeah, we aren't 100% sure of when everything is going to be yet. But um. The snack and chats are going to be done every month on um, twice. So on the first and third Wednesdays, I believe. Yeah, it's like a really full plate, Sheldon, of mm. different events, activities, initiatives, or whatnot. I guess for me, um, my question is, what was the biggest challenges y'all encountered aside from COVID, you know, and people coming back? But what have 
what was the biggest challenges y'all encountered with fall 2022 and maybe possibly foreseeing with fall or sorry with spring 2023 um honestly i think it was just um getting like the full like board and like getting adjusted to our positions because me mike and julius um we all started uh, working for student congress this semester so it was all about um sort of getting adjusted to our positions and sort of um, learning to cooperate and uh, work together as a board. So I feel like that was one big thing that we had to work on this semester that we've sort of gotten a hang of um, after all of our experiences this semester. I also feel like we've had a little bit of um, difficulty with some people like not knowing what student Congress is on campus, which is a surprisingly um, large amount of people. But I feel like a lot of the CSOs honestly have that problem. And through like our snack and chats and such, I feel like we are um, getting more known among the students. So I feel like we are making progress on like the difficulties that I saw. I got one. I would say the biggest challenge that I've noticed is just working with administration in a good way, though. I feel like to get anything done at all, you have to go through the proper channels. And like, say, if you want to host snack and chats, well, you got to work with campus to be like, I'm going to be here at this time, panning out this and doing this. So it's just doing an initiative. There's just so many little moving parts and to get them all to move forward towards a common goal and complete it is very challenging. Um, one thing is summer tuition. I overheard you guys like that's a huge thing. And it is a huge thing. Um, it was actually from you guys, students who told us like, hey, we're having financial worries. How am I supposed to focus on school when I can't feed myself and I got to pay mm -hmm. rent or um, afford other like medical or health stuff? So we looked into summer tuition and then we realized like this is bigger than a campus level and we're going to have to work with so many different types of people and get approval and go through all these channels. But I feel like if students are saying this and they need this, like you just got to push forward. So I just want to thank everyone who took the survey or like just gave us feedback because we use those information to help guide our initiatives. And we we literally can't do it without you. If I go to admin being like, hey, I think this, that means nothing. But if I say, hey, 500 students say they need this, then that makes it more possible for that to happen. So that's my answer. Um, Micah, Julius, Tim, you have anything to add on? No. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to cover. I forgot. I don't think we explained exactly what the snack and chat is. The snack and chat is basically when we're um, outside of our office during our usual office hours, except we go on to different parts of the campus uh, and, you know, come with snacks, you know, offer snacks to students who are interested in giving their opinion on different things. Um, and that way we can get like instant feedback as well as uh, have our presence out there consistently. Um, uh, so that's snack and chat. Uh, the adulting workshops, it's basically what it sounds like. It's going to be like a talk story session uh, once a month um, that will be handled. I mean, dates haven't been determined yet, of course, as Shauna was saying, but uh, basically covering topics that are interesting as well as important for students to know. Um, the first one is going to be about how to talk to your instructor, especially about difficult topics, uh, whether it's a complaint or um, something that they should know about. Uh, but uh, yeah, as Jenny was saying, uh, super important that we get feedback from our students, uh, our, our peers, you know, uh, because it's what fuels what we do. Um, but yeah, Julius, what are you going to say? I know, I was just jumping on. Uh with uh, Shauna was saying, uh, you know, I guess adjusting, my, my biggest thing was just adjusting to the job, uh, trying to figure out how everything runs and stuff like that. I think that was my biggest, uh, I guess, hump in the semester. And then, you know, trying to find this mirror where to put it. Uh, I think that's a pretty hard one right now going on. I, I, I found maybe the library might be wanting to work with us. And then at the end of that, it's just, you know, trying to balance school out. So mm -hmm. I think that's something that was going on for, for this whole six months. Yeah, I agree with you, Julius. Um, I think that one thing that was very difficult was kind of balancing everything out because at the same time, you know, we're here to help the students, but we're also students ourselves. Uh, we have a lot of schoolwork. Uh, you know, we need to study. And honestly, at the beginning of the semester, I struggled a lot with my mm -hmm. position because um, I'm public relations, which is marketing, and it was very difficult for me. And there's a point in time where I had so much classes, so much to do, and I was going to uh, leave Student Congress, but mm -hmm. uh, 
I talked to Roman about this and I decided to stay and it's one of the best experiences I've had yet. It teaches you a lot about leadership. And I will say that this is a difficult thing to do, but it's something that we're passionate about. And we're here to help the students, to amplify the students' voices, uh, like through snack and chats. Really important. We've reached over 30 students. We have a lot of issues that these students have, and we're here to help them uh, in the best way that we can. Snack and chats are held every single uh, beginning Wednesday and ending Wednesday of the month. We have nine more snack and chats left of the year, starting from January 11th, 25th, February 1st and 22nd, March 1st and 29th, April 5th and April 26th, and May 3rd. So yes, those are all the dates that I, I randomly came up with at like 3 a.m. <laughs> but yes, those are the dates. So watch out for that. Can't wait to hear from our students. But one of the big things that I struggle with now, I would say it's a newsletter. You know, I know, hmm. you know, any. Jenny knows it's it's hard. It's hard doing the newsletter. I'm still working on it. And I remember one time me and Jenny stayed up to like 11 p.m. just working on the newsletter. It's very difficult sometimes, but it's something that, you know, it's for the students. We want students to know about resources and things in that nature. So we're willing to put in the time and effort just to help all of our students at KCC. You know, when you guys do your snack and chat, which I think is so great. And I want to touch on that in a little bit because... You guys don't get enough recognition, but when you guys are doing the snack and chats, what are some of the top issues that have come up recently? I know you've done surveys in the past, a um, lot of great issues that students are presenting, but recently, like, what would you say are the top three issues that are facing students today? Oh, right. Oh. Rest in peace. I don't know if you know, Brian, he's the <laughs> vice chancellor of administrative services. So anything yeah. on campus, he deals with yes. food options. That is the number one thing, mm. food options we get complaints about. And he knows it. We all know it. We're all just looking at each other. Um, food options. Was it study spaces is another one. Um, what else do you guys know? Is Tim, Micah, Julius? Um, air conditioner, I remember, and also um, better toilet paper is what I remember yep. as well. Yes, but no more one. We recommend twice. This 2022, 2023 almost. I mean, Manoa has it. I mean, why can't we, right? Exactly. So what makes quality toilet paper? Like, how did that Costco. make the list? Costco got to be like the top place, but I don't think we're bougie enough for that. So Tim and Julius might want to add on to it because they're very passionate. <laughs> like, look, I think yeah, Costco might have been like kind of bougie, but if we start going to Target, they got like some really bougie uh, toilet paper I feel like over there. Target. Yeah. I think yeah. we're deserving of high quality yeah. toilet paper. You know, if the. If yeah. If the universities can have quality toilet paper, why can't we? And if Student Congress is here for anything, I mean, we're here to make yeah. his life better. <laughs> think about all things that could possibly stress a student and we will help them. You know what I mean? Because wiping takes too long sometimes. And sometimes it doesn't go right. <laughs> I hope you're not talking from personal experience, Tim. Hello. I so definitely he, think he's talking from personal experience. <laughs> so, so I'm hearing food yeah. options, TP options are looking at as yeah. well. well. TP options and food options. Gotcha. Okay. You know, uh, Brian has to deal with. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, there, there there are these experts in the field of enrollment management in higher ed. They look at stuff like retention. Quality instruction, nice facilities. They've overlooked toilet paper. So I think. So then I think we're onto something. So when we do our high school <laughs> visits, we're going to bring a roll of toilet paper. It's like, this is what waits for you at KCC. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> you know, I was we're going to say toilet paper. What do you think? You know, it's, we're, we're an educational place. You know, mm -hmm. why not continue it? It's <laughs> everywhere. And this is our student congress. Oh, but this is student congress. Yeah, this, but you know, it was so. And in, in, dare I say, in all seriousness, it's somewhere in there. Um, 
But what we have in front of you is just really great mixture of students. I truly feel like what you see on your camera right now is a solid mixture of our student body, of students who may have started KCC right after high school, returning after maybe doing um, some career stuff, what have you, returning back for another degree. And for me to hear your voices come together, it's almost like a summary of our student voices. And so it's so great to just hear you guys speak on behalf of our, on behalf of our student body because I feel you folks represent our student body. And the thing I wanted to get into about the snack and chat, and again, I was at a meeting today at a high school and we we're talking about um, quality instructions and you know they said uh, KCC's facilities is very nice, but I told them, you know, the unsung heroes are the folks who are trying to bring students back on campus. And that's you folks. I was telling them how you guys work hard in trying to do all types of activities and trying to bring bringing the energy back physically to this campus. Like I cannot praise you folks enough. I hope you guys get the attention that you guys deserve because if you think about it, we still have maybe roughly 70, maybe 80% of our classes online. And so what's to bring students to our campus? And so, but you guys are trying your very, very best to bring some kind of energy back. And I, I, gosh, I cannot appreciate what you guys do enough because for Alfie and I, selfish plug. So we're at the high schools a lot. And what they're doing at the K-12 is they're trying to bring back everyone to campus. And so they're doing all kinds of stuff. And we see it. We see the energy. Uh, we feel it. And what worries us is that when, when they go from that energy to a campus that's still mostly online, we worry that we don't want that energy to fade. And again, to really kudos to you guys on what you've done uh, in person. It's just simply amazing. Alfie, what do you think? As someone who was from Student Activities. You know, it's... The hardest thing that I my experience within student activities was um, just the general awareness of stuff that's happening and bringing people to events, you know? So that's one of two things. So one, oh, I didn't know there was an activities group. I didn't know there's a Congress group. I didn't know there's publications. So there's that challenge. But the second challenge is when you do have stuff, how do you get them to come to events? So those are two big things. And like what Sheldon was saying, like, man, y'all are, this is not a, this is not an easy task, especially we're trying to bring people back to the campus and y'all are going all out. Like I, I pass by the lawn, I see y'all doing things together and it's, it's awesome and amazing. And it just, you know, my wish is I hope everyone starts coming to these events, all the students that come to the events, because at the end of the day, if you think about it, the students paid for it, <laughs> the students paid for it. So this is your team putting your fees to work. And if you don't like what y'all see gang, these are your voices. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. Walk up to them with a snack and chat. You don't like the food options? You got food options at a snack and chat. You know, what? depending on the snack of the day. You know, who knows? It might turn into a, a TP and chat. We, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Pork in the trunk chat. Pork in the trunk chat. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but but yeah, just to echo Sheldon's sentiments, you know, kudos and props, man, to, mm -hmm. your, to your team. It's it's. It's not an easy task, but when it happens and stuff is going, it's it's such a beautiful thing to see. So, mm -hmm. you know, you guys are doing great. <laughs> so two things that came, well, actually one word came to the top and the word was hopeful. And so when you guys think about 2023 in your personal lens, um, I mean, you can leave your Congress hat on, but also in your personal lens, what are you hopeful for for 2023? On a personal level, I feel like I'm hopeful for meeting new types of people. Mm -hmm. I feel like people in general just bring spice in your life. So I'm very excited. I'm transferring to UH Manoa next semester. So hey. I'm like, clap, 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 clap. But I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait because people say the funniest stuff and it just adds so much like dimension and um, light into my life. That's mm -hmm. what I would say. Uh, hopeful for all A's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tim, what grades are you getting? Thank you. What grades are you getting now? <laughs> I'm getting A's. A-R-A. <laughs> Surprisingly, no. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and I get definitely more connection. You know, uh, I think these past few months with uh, the Friendsgiving as well as the Snack and Chat, um, you know, we've gained a good amount of experience, especially with connecting to the students and building on top of those ideas. We're going into different directions, you know, like with the Snack and Chat, uh, there's the potential of making it like a mobile Snack and Chat so that oh. we can try to target students that maybe don't always pass by the Great Lawn. Maybe we can find like the times that all of the, I don't know, medical students go to class or come out of class and we can, you know, park right in front of there and mm. just catch them. Um, so I think that's, that would be exciting. That'll be fun. We'll get to see a lot of faces that we haven't seen before. Um, and yeah, with the cultural festival, especially now that we are, you know, closer with the other CSOs, I think the cultural festival is really fun. Um, and I think we'll be able to pull up, pull in different aspects of the community, not just KCC, but uh, the community surrounding KCC mm -hmm. uh, to help out with that. So I think that'd be really cool. That sounds very cool. I think for 2023, I think I'm hopeful to see maybe, you know, everybody come back to campus, you know, a bigger group of people come back to campus, more students, more social gatherings, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but not just social gatherings and just to have fun, but, you know, to, I guess, celebrate, you know, cultural stuff, you know, celebrate our traditions or, uh, I'd love mm -hmm. to see that uh, next semester, mm -hmm. but also you know building bonds, friendships, and stuff like that. And I think that's my biggest thing. And trying to figure out, um, you know, how we can complete our initiatives. Yep. Yeah. Uh, see it. See it come to life. Mm -hmm. I really hope that, uh, like the twenty twenty three will, um, more than personal. I I have been thinking a lot about um what. Congress is going to be doing for 2023. Um, we're going to be doing our spring survey um, next semester. And that's pretty big because it'll um, pretty much decide what happens mm -hmm. for our next fall semester as well. So I just hope that um, everything goes well with that and a lot of students um, will answer the survey since um, it is really important and it helps the students who ask answer it as well mm -hmm. um because they get what they're um sort of saying that they need on campus right right and of course for 2023 i hope that everything um like campus becomes more full again <laughs> because like this semester i thought like wow it's more full and like people who have been here for like years like faculty are like this is not full <laughs> but <laughs> um yeah, I think it would be nice if um, campus is more full, yeah. Well, my biggest hope for 2023 is seeing more student engagement. Um, so I did talk to people who were at KCC for years, and they informed me that at one point there was 10,000 students on campus at KCC. It was really packed, a lot of engagement, and I'm kind of a nosy person. So I was looking through the old documents, and there's so much clubs, like more clubs at KCC. I guess for 2023, I would like to see more clubs on campus. Um, for all of you guys who don't know, which you know, you guys do know, I'm president of a club and just more clubs kind of rise again. The Pacific Islander Club, very successful club, not to flex, mm -hmm. but <laughs> that's right. Seeing that student engagement um, is really important. Mm -hmm. Something I'm very hopeful for, just bringing back, you know, happiness and fun at Kate. Well, there already is, but bringing more of that back at KCC and I hope we all do good on our initiatives we made really good progress um, for Friendsgiving we brought down the Pohu kind of food pantry in which they gave food to over 80 people wow. and that was good just hosting a food pantry too um, so just like things in that nature for the spring semester and to have more people know about student congress which I think we've been getting pretty good at and I also want the Instagram to grow. So if you don't follow the Instagram, it is capccsc, and you'll be our lucky 271st follower. So very special number, 271st. Um, yeah. 271. Well, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, it's like what we talked about earlier about percentages, 83%, <laughs> right? Just numbers. <laughs> what is the significance of 271? Um, it's a, or, it's a, oh, okay. I shouldn't reveal that then. Yeah. Very good number. <laughs> Very good number. 
any last words? I this is again, we're gonna try get your word out. We're gonna try put this on our KCC YouTube page. We're gonna make sure it's announced on all our social media accounts. Words to close out 2022, other words to welcome 2023. Anything. Uh, well, I just want to say to anybody listening to this, like, um, uh, good luck on uh, your finals, or if it passed already, then um, whatever's coming up next. And I hope that you have, like, a good um, holiday um, break with, like, Christmas, New Year's coming up. And I hope mm-hmm. everybody gets, like, a chance to rest up before the next semester. And uh, everybody just really enjoys their holidays. And I'd like to thank... Um, me and Sheldon for um, helping us get the word out about our initiatives and what we're doing on campus. Just to add on what um, Shauna was saying about the initiatives, our initiatives comes from you, the Mm -hmm. student, if you're a student listening to this. So if you ever have a problem or a concern or you're like, I wish the campus had this or the school did this, come to us. We serve you, the student voice. We represent you. And I feel like we need your input we cannot function without you guys so i would just like to thank you guys for listening and hearing me so what are your hopes for 2023 oh words of advice for 2023 just try i feel Mm. like the all you can do is try with our initiatives all we can do is try all you can do is try in the words of my math professor didn't yoda say that I think that's a Nike thing too, but I don't so, want to yeah. keep Ma- Michael- it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a Michael Jordan thing. I remember him saying that. <laughs> Could have been a Yoda thing too. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say uh, good luck to the students out there at their mm-hmm. finals. Uh, I wish you guys the best. I know you guys are out there studying in the library, wherever you are on campus, even at home. Good luck. Uh, and for the students that have completed their finals, congratulations. Uh, and for even students that um, are potentially might be even thinking about you know, future students that might be coming on campus. We hope to see you guys. Uh, I mean, all of you. Right. So all right. I swear Tim has a lot of good advice. Uh, don't forget your pork in the trunk. <laughs> um, if it's one ply, double up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> you know? I'll say Shogunai. I'd say, I mean, it's something easy to live by, but, mm. you know, not always easy to remember. I don't know. Or you could say, yeah, it, Shogunai is right. It is what it is. Mm. You know, definitely, uh, as the was saying, just try, you know, but if things don't work out, it is what it is. You know, you you just keep trying, keep, keep moving trying. forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I definitely want to say thank you, of course, yeah, to you, Sheldon, and Elfie as well. Oh, gosh. Um, you know, uh, you guys keep putting things out there, keep helping students as well, and, and with everything else that you have on your plate too. So we appreciate that. Um, Roman, for sure, mm-hmm. you know, she uh, took on the weight of all the CSOs this uh, semester. And I don't know how she didn't just go crazy from that. You know, when usually each CSO has an advisor, right? Um, so she's been great. Uh, and definitely Coco and Lavache, you know, they put in so much time and effort, you know, um, to all of the events and all the things that they do for those who have food insecurity. You know, mm-hmm. it's something that I use uh, a lot in the past too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And good luck. Yep. Thanks, Tim. Micah, before you watch your Kardashian series, any tips, words for our students? Don't um, watch the Kardashians. <laughs> well, I recommend watching the Kardashians. <laughs> Actually, it's a really good show, by the way. And yeah, they'll inspire you. So yeah. <laughs> but um on another note, um, my what's it mentor always said, winners never quit and quitters never win. So don't quit. Mm. Push forward. We're all in college. Um, we're all here to help each other. Uh if you need anything, just email the cap ccsc at hoy.edu but like don't ask for things like tutoring and stuff because we don't do that but because someone actually <laughs> did it before but very funny story actually but yeah don't um but yeah reach out to us we're here for you and thank you to all the faculty and staff 
Um, I would like to give a special shout out to Roman and uh, Brian too, because he mm. does a lot, you know, and everyone in the KCC campus who kind of makes it its own community. And yeah, that's my word of advice. Alfie, how about you? Hmm. Wow. Or 2023. <laughs> Um, just keep pushing forward. I mean, you know, um, if anything that we've encountered this past, not even this past year, but for the past two years, mm -hmm. you know, just, you know, chin up and keep pushing forward, you know, um, and like Tim says, you know, we're going to try, no, no, um, <laughs> <laughs> things will happen, things will happen, but, you know, just kind of overcome and push forward. Yep. Sheldon, Re what about you? <laughs> Resiliency is a big thing. And I also appreciate all the positive comments. And in all honesty, you folks are our inspiration. Uh, we push forward because you guys push forward. And I we can't thank you all enough, even the listeners, all the students out there. We can't thank them enough because we find inspiration through them. And we do what we do because of all of you folks. And so I, I am always excited for the upcoming year. It's always neat to see how we expand on the previous years. And like everyone is saying, push forward. There's only more room to grow. So thank you, Student Congress, for all that you do. Thank you, all the students, for all that you do. Um, I know it's still finals week. Like everyone's saying, push through. And happy holidays. And we'll see you all in 2023. Which is three weeks from now. Which oh, is my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. Thanks. Bye.